my dream job actually would be a consultant for one of the big corporations. So if I could be a consultant from Bombardier to see, to help them with their investments or their marketing strategy or the financial department to see what new sectors or what new countries to enter. That would be my dream job, aiding a corporation like Bombardier and telling them, you know, maybe we should try this country or going to this country because I speak four languages, you know, to see which way, which direction they should take. My dream job would be to be a business consultant because I think, uh, the most important things in a business is to manage its cost. Um, my dream job is to design, hopefully uh, contribute to a design of an aircraft that's light enough, that's um, efficient, and that will uh, satisfy uh, clients and um, hopefully improve customer service. My dream job would be, uh, I guess, research and development, um, you know, with the purpose of I guess aircraft performance in certain atmospheres, and I'm, although I'm not uh, in aerospace engineering, not, not at all, I'm, I feel that my knowledge of you know atmospheric science, atmospheric physics, and you know meteorology, I think I can contribute. To. Um, contributions to Bombardier Airspace could include uh, meticulous design standards that uh, we hold ourselves up to. Um, when you design a product, it's only as good as you build it. I like it. to contribute my creativity, my determination. Um, I would also like to contribute my care for the customers and for the whoever is using the aircraft. Um, I'm bilingual. I work very, very hard. I have a good customer service outlook, which I think is really important, uh, especially in the marketing domain. You have to um, understand what your customers want. And, uh, and I'm a good team player, so I, I think that that's very important as well. To succeed in the aerospace industry, one has to consider uh, the market as well as the materials. Uh, because there are uh, some materials which can potentially be used in the aerospace industry, but which are actually very expensive. So uh, we have to... Uh, to make a compromise between cost and performance. Like any other field that is, you know, based on scientific development, I feel like working hard and very being very thorough with research and uh, I guess just really putting your all into it because that's the only way that, you know, a company like this could move forward. I think you just really need to like what you're doing, first of all. Um, I think that you have to actually have an interest in either planes or the transportation industry because I think that's going to be really hard to bring good work if you're not interested in whatsoever. When you design a part, you have to make sure it's economical, um, but the standards have to be at the level of Bombardier's um, standards. So we need to we need to make sure that. Parts are sustainable, but still up to the standards. Bombardier, like you don't need to go that into the future. I think today you're facing a lot of challenges, and the industry is changing, and the market demand is changing. That it requires not only to to work hard. You know, you need more creativity, and you need more analytic analysis to do to be successful. One of their challenges is just really going to be to get their brand name, especially out in the USA. I think in, uh, I think in Quebec, everybody knows who Bombardier is, and in a large part of Canada as well, but um, I think in the States, they're just not as aware, um, I mean, as we are over here. And uh, so I know John Travolta is now a new brand ambassador, so <laughs> hopefully uh, he brings some of uh, that knowledge with him over to the USA.